old fairy tale things. Your welcome is officially worn out. I'm gonna go see this far fun guy right now. Get you all off my lawn. Get back where you came from. <laughs>
body.
Take a look here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Ooh, this is too perfect. What is? You, you're big and hulking and wonderfully expendable. <laughs> People do luck. We have a winner. Congratulations, Ogre. You won the honor of embarking on a great and noble quest. Yeah, but we're already on a quest. Yeah, to get my swamp bar. And you nearly accomplish it. You just have to do one more itsy bitsy little task. What exactly is this little task? Oh, Walter, the Dacian Royal Highness, please.
expecting Prince Charlie? Well, yes, actually. <laughs> oh, no. I'm supposed to be rescued by my true love, not by some ogre and his pet. <laughs> well, so much for noble steam. <laughs> You're not supposed to be an ogre! Look, Princess, I was sent to rescue you by Lord Farquaad, all right? He is the one who wants to marry you. Well, then why didn't he come rescue me? <gasps> That's a good question. <laughs> you can ask him that when we get there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh my gosh, it's almost sunset. So? Uh, it's late. It's very late. We need to make camp. Camp? But you just escaped. Yes, but found the whole ordeal quite exhausting. I need to rest again. Well, that's too bad because we're going to keep going. Why do you find the way to camp right now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. There's a cave right over there. Shrek, that is no place for a princess. No, it's perfect. Well, gentlemen, I can see you. Good night. Oh, do you want me to read you a bedtime story? Because I will. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. That's who I be. That's who I be. 
I could be a poet and write a different story, one that tells of glory and wipes away the lies. To the skies I throw it, the stars would do the telling, the moon would help the spelling, and night would dog the eyes. I write a verse, recite a joke with wit and perfect timing, share my heart, confess the things I yearn and do. Life would be enchanted, or so the stories say. Of course I'd be a hero, and I would scale a tower to save a hot house flower and carry her away. But stand to guard would be a beast. I somehow overwhelm it. I'd get the girl, I'd take a breath, and I'd remove my helmet. We'd stand and stare, we'd speak of love, we'd feel the stars descending. We'd share a kiss, I'd find my destiny. I'd have a hero's ending.